Um, first of all, I'd like to say thank you to Aurochs for organising another brilliantly accessible and successful microscopy conference um, that's allowed us all to be virtually here today. Um, it's been a very strange year for all of us um, with lack of time both in the labs um, and socialising at all the usual events. Um, so hopefully um, we can get back out there. I'm really looking forward to um, doing the lab work, conferences, physical demos um, and having many more conversations about our cameras. Um, so hopefully you're already familiar with Hamamatsu Photonics. Uh, so we're leaders in the manufacture and production of photonics and optoelectronics components. Uh, so this includes components like our photo detectors, but also larger systems products like our digital slide scanners, the nano zoomers, and our functional drug screening systems or FDSS, which are our high throughput screening systems for the biotech and pharma industries. So those in the microscopy industry will most likely have used Hamamatsu's detectors in your microscopes, for example, PMTs for confocal, but also our range of scientific CMOS imaging products like the Orca Flash 4 V3, which is still one of our most widely used cameras today. In fact, we've seen huge success over the last year with the Orca Flash 4 V3 on Aurox's laser-free confocal spinning disc system, the Clarity, with demos of the system facilitated not just here in the UK, but also worldwide. So today I'm keen to give you a crash course on our scientific cameras, focusing on the Orca Fusion and the Orca Fusion BT. So when speaking about the cameras, you'll hopefully all know that high sensitivity is key to getting those good quality images. Uh, so this is the ability to discriminate between the signal of interest and your background. These two most recent Hamamatsu cameras can show a real benefit to the quality of the results produced in your scientific imaging applications. So starting off with the Orca Fusion, this is our first generation three SCMOS camera. So it's built from the sensor up with a custom designed 5.3 megapixel Hamamatsu sensor for a very large field of view. Uh, but the main benefit of this camera is the exceptionally low and uniform read noise floor of 0.7 electrons RMS, um, which was introduced for the highly sensitive capture of images in very low light conditions. So here you can see a few high quality images taken with the Fusion. So two of a regenerated lamprey spinal cord and one of a plant tissue culture induced to make xylem. So if you'd like to know anything more about the Fusion or you have any questions related to a particular microscopy application, um, I'd be more than happy to share some more information with you. Then we have the Orca Fusion BT, which is Hamamatsu's flagship camera and the peak of SCMOS performance. It uses a back thin sensor to enable 95% quantum efficiency combined with the ultra low read noise of the Fusion for the highest levels of sensitivity in our CMOS cameras. The Fusion BT is designed to produce high quality data in low light level imaging applications, such as super resolution microscopy due to the exceptional photon detection and collection. So on the left, you can see a few images taken with the Fusion BT. Uh, so one is of brainstem neurons in a whole mice brain, um, which is labeled with thi one GFP. And one uses the label Mitra Tracker Red to look at PAE or porcine aortic endothelial cells on a 3i clear tissue light sheet. Um, and you can see in these images the really high signal to noise ratio of the camera. So if you want some further information about the capabilities of the Fusion BT for your specific microscopy application, uh, please do let me know. So all of our cameras, including the Fusion and the Fusion BT, are very user friendly. Both come with USB 3.0 for easy plug and play use plus the added option of a high-speed interface for imaging at up to 100 frames per second. Our own image acquisition software, HC Image Live, is included with our cameras, and we have full third-party support with a number of common proprietary softwares, such as LabVIEW, MicroManager, and MATLAB. So to anyone who's unfortunately not been able to test out our cameras this year due to the restrictions, um, I'm really sorry. I know lots more of you were hoping to have tested out the Fusion BT by now. Um, hopefully we can look to change this soon. Uh, so we've seen lots of successful virtual demos over the last year. Uh, so if you're still unable to have visitors to the lab, um, that's a great option for now. Alternatively, if your restrictions have eased a little bit, uh, we can come to site and get the cameras all set up for you to test on your own system. Uh, so please get in touch to arrange a demo of the Fusion or the Fusion BT. And finally, I'm in the really exciting position to be able to tease you with some news about our latest camera release. Uh, so we've called this novel technology quantitative CMOS or QCMOS, uh, which allows reliable quantification of photon numbers within each pixel of the camera. So that's 
pretty much all I can say for now, um, as I'm waiting on my fantastic European colleague to announce the release of the camera on a global scale later today. Um, so to hear more about the history of semiconductor image sensors and how Hamamatsu got to this photon resolving QCMOS technology, uh, you can visit the Hamamatsu webpage where there's a link to the event sign up page uh, or please drop me a message and I'll be able to share the registration link with you uh, so you can watch the recording of the webinar yourself. Uh, so thank you all for your attention. Um, I would open up to any questions about our cameras, but for the purposes of time, um, please put any of them in the chat and I'll be more than happy to get back to you. Um, alternatively, um, here are the contact details for myself and my colleague James, um, if you want to ask any questions following the conference. Um, so I hope that you all enjoy the rest of the conference. Um, be really brilliant so far. Um, and thank you very much.